Hi, welcome for our RTL online trainings and placements. Now, in this session, we are going to talk about the fifth quiz related for the Fusion Head CM functional consultant. Let's enter into the quiz. Now, the first question is below which one is not the role type? We know that in global HR module, roles are very important. Without roles, we will not be able to work as a functional or technical consultant. For both, uh, it's very important because the application is role-based access application. When we are working in the projects, we'll be creating the new roles. We'll be customizing the existing roles here. Okay, so the question is, we have different types of roles. So below, which one is the, which one is not the role? We have duty role that we know that. And then we have job role. Then we have data roles also. We'll be creating data roles. We don't have any role name called, role type called extract. The role type is abstract roles we have. We have the role called abstract, but we don't have any role called extract. We don't have any role called extract. So this is the right answer. Now the second question, can we rehire an employee same day after termination? For example, we have terminated an employee today. And today itself, we would like to go for a rehire that employee. We want to go for a rehire on the, that employee on the same day. Is it possible? Can we rehire an employee on the same day after termination? Yes, we can do. We can do if he is a contingent worker. So if it is employee, we cannot do. If he is a contingent worker, TWK, then we can do. We cannot hire an employee on the same day. We can rehire on the same day, but it should be another business unit. We can rehire on the same day, but it is for another business unit, not for the same business unit. It's not possible for the same business unit. These are the four options we have. So which one is correct? Whether employee or contingent worker, it doesn't matter. The moment when you terminate an employee, we should wait for 24 hours. It means we can rehire that, an, that employee after 24 hours mean, means in the next day or future dates. You cannot go for hire an employee on the same day. It's not possible. So I'm selecting we cannot rehire an employee. Click next button. Now we are entering into the third question. If we terminate an employee today, what will be the assignment status today? So for example, we have terminated an employee today. We know that when we hire an employee or terminate, whatever it is, assignment status will be there. Because whenever we are hiring an employee, we'll be having assignment. Without assignment, there is no question of hiring an employee, right? So we'll be having assignment. What will be the status of that assignment? We terminated today. And today I want to know what is the assignment status for that particular employee. Active payroll eligible, inactive payroll eligible, active terminated status, and terminated. And terminated. So which one is the status? What will be the assignment status here? Generally, even if we terminate an employee today, it means today is the last working day. Obviously, you will be active. The employee will be active with payroll eligible because employee is working today. Obviously, we are supposed to pay salary to the employee active payroll eligible. Okay. Tomorrow, it will be terminated. Tomorrow, it will be terminated status. So, go for active payroll eligible option. Click next button. Now, we are entering into the third, fourth question here. Which role is mandatory to create the data roles? We will be creating multiple data roles when we are working in the projects because we wanted to provide the security 
for the users. Once we implement a application, human capital management application to the client, who will use our HCM application? Our client employees are going to use. Our client employees means that there will be a recruiters, HR manager, HR specialist, and there will be a, a different levels of uh, position employees will be using. So it depends on the employee position they wanted to access the data, then we will go with the data. So if at all we want to go with creating data role, which role is mandatory? Is it data duty role or, or is it privilege or is it job role or is it abstract role? So which role is mandatory to create the data roles? Job role is mandatory. The moment when you go to the task, manage data role and policies, it will ask us in the first field, job role name. And after that, it will ask us the different security profiles, which we will be selecting. Okay. Without job role, we cannot create a data role. So what job role will do? The job role will give the access to the application. And security profiles will give the access to the data. Obviously, when we are using, means when employee login, first he has to access the application. Then in the application, he will try to click the search button or click insert button or update or delete. Some actions he will perform and work with the data. So data access, India data or US data, or in India, some specific BU data or specific department, that is a security profile. So job role and security profile. The question is, uh, which role is required to create a DAB role? job role, which one is mandatory, job role is mandatory. And now we are going for the last question. At what level we will configure position synchronization? Position synchronization is one of the important topic in global HR. Every client will go for implement in case if they are using the positions. So it will be used to synchronize the information from the position page, whatever the attributes information. While during this implementation, we'll set up that uh, attributes, which attributes you want to go for synchronize, whether you want to go for modify it or not, these options. So at what level we are going to perform the position synchronization here? Is it legal entity and assignment level? Is it legal entity and business unit level? Or is it enterprise and legal entity level? Or is it legal entity and uh, business unit? I think the second uh, answer and the fourth answer both are same. It's okay. No issue. So we'll consider the first three. First three will take up. The second and the third one looks like both are same by mistake. So we can consider the first three option, which one is uh, level. So when we are working with position synchronization, we'll do it at enterprise level. When we go to the task, manage enterprise at CM information, when we scroll down the page, last, we will find position synchronization, HCM design studio, and user and roles access, as well as the workday information. This is all we'll find. There we'll do it at enterprise level. And the same term, when we go for legal entity, it means a legal employer. When we go to manage legal entity, HCM information task, there will be two tabs, legal employer and payroll statutory unit. In legal employer, we'll find two, two options left side. One is uh, legal employer details, another one is uh, position synchronization. There we can configure it. High priority is legal employer level, means legal entity level, whatever we configure, that's a high priority. The lowest level is always high priority. If we don't configure at legal entity level, it will consider the enterprise level option. So the third answer is uh, correct. Let me click on this. So this is about uh, the different questions uh, which we have. Please share our uh, YouTube channel in your circle, whoever is working for cloud environment, whoever is looking for training or placement, or whoever is attending for the interviews, it will be helpful for everybody. If you are looking for some real-time training or looking for any interview clearing, interview support, and uh, mock interview conductions, this all, please contact our coordinator. Thank you.